Tom, who's been in double figures the last six games. These two guys, number 10, Bonton, and right here, C.J. Ellaby, they're going to take the lion's share of the shots for Washington State as Ellaby. Wow. Well, Richardson on the floor now for Oregon. Richard knocks it down. Left to take the head coaching job in at Virginia in 2009. Houston knocks it down. It's a step into <laughs> rhythm. You have to take the shot. Well, yes, now two of 20 from three. Uh, Bot time, good feed. He's like, don't forget about me, okay? He's a volume shooter. His, his shooting percentages aren't that great, but he's very jittery and hard to stay in front of. Houston taking on Pollard now. Has the most potential to be an elite defender. Speaking of defending. Another turnover. Pritchard. Have we seen him dunk before? He's dunk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I've just seen him dunk many times before. Oh. Missed opportunity, Noah Williams. Alibi. He kind of throws up a prayer. Transition. Deep three knocks it down. Five times tonight, nearly half their season total. Hey, they've been trending the wrong way with the turnover. So in the non-conference, they were amazing, Aaron. And in, in conference, it seems to be... Bon Tom lets it fiddle, Aaron. They did a perfect job. Kyle Smith calls that black. That's the coverage they call that. And they did it to perfection there. Rodman for three. Ellaby has the lane open up, gives it to Pollard off the glass. P.J. Ellaby, one of the better scorers in the Pac-12 to play downhill. You have to suck in. Turn around, soft touch, and Folly Dante, 6 on the floor, but has had that cleaned up. He's got potential written all over him. I hope he sticks around for more than just a year, though, Aaron. He might need it. Ellaby answers on the other end, back in front. Different looking team right now is Washington State than what we saw with Peyton Pritchard. This time he the reigning Juco National Player of the Year. Richardson. And Fale. Williams, the Seattle product. Nice. Here comes Chris Duarte. Okay, and Neither one has really emerged, but you can see Dorte. Look, he's number five. He's really, really long. He's six six. He's got a great wingspan. He's just got to be more active. Trevay Robinson, senior from Aurora, Colorado. Triple put through again. Different feeling walking into a meeting room with players that are now yours. But you had some interesting comments as the shot clock gets down to five. Because I got the job doesn't mean. You know, I've earned their trust or their belief in, in me or, or the philosophies or the schemes. Um, they have them as well. So you have some familiarity in terms of uh, seeing the conference when you're interviewing for the job. Somewhat, somewhat, you know, but being part of it's a different animal. There's a lot to learn. That's his second with a step back. 31-24 on the other end quickly, Duarte. Third down, <laughs> All right. you know, I'm sure you can uh, catch a fade route. Goal line, red zone stuff. Boy, would, Pritchard. Would, would the helmet fit over that? Nice extra pass there. Okay. Duarte answered. Oh, that hurts so much. It pulls on those ankle tendons. I've done that a few times in my life. A Dor Duarte deflection again. And Pritchard finally gets the ball. He's been working for 10 seconds trying to get it. With five to shoot, steps back and drains the three. Man, has he been so good this year? That'll be left open for three, and he drills his third. He's got 15 in the first half. The conference opener against USC, Ellaby was three for 22. We heard Cal Smith, their head coach, as Pollard gets the second half going for the Cougs. Of Anthony Mathis. Mathis to Pritchard. Wow, what a move and finish. Yeah, like, you remember when he was a freshman and he played on that Final Four team uh, in 2017 for Oregon? He was a pass-first guy. He deferred a lot to his teammates. And Washington State dodged the bullet there. I mean, that was Williams who was caught staring at Peyton Bridger too long. Is that a heat check for Dorte? Montan coming back down to the ground. Didn't know what to do with it. Robinson, that's his second. Wide open look for Robinson. What a game of runs this has been. Another Ducks turnover. Ellaby, easy two. On the block, really nice double team there from Houston. Williams, 
Good fake and finish. LB, the three. Out to LB. He's got to be the one guy that you mark. I mean, I would understand if you had two guys guarding him, but zero guys? And Folly Dante contested by Pollard, and he's got the touch. Pritchard pushing. Backs it out, comes back across. Richardson weaving through and gets his first bucket of the night. Time to shoot now. Pritchard pulls up. Bonton, that hand too far away, and Bonton coughs it up. This is the second time we've seen Duarte with a wide open flush. And he had pass to Pollard. Seven to shoot now. Robin with three on the shot clock. Foul! And he hit it! Five on the shot clock for Bonton. Bonton up and under and through! Seven to shoot now. Five to shoot. Pritchard. Oh! What a shot by the senior. He's, he's going to go down as arguably. To me, when it's all said and done, he's going to go down as the best duck of all time, statistically. Pollard, what a move to get past Dante. Oh, what a move. Richardson wow. and the finish. Richard, a lane violation coming. It goes. Here's your matchup. LB. Left hand. Mono foul count it. Right now. Pollard wide open off the window. Preacher turns it over. Williams pushing. Williams. That'll be the finish. Utah is another team that has talent. They can shoot, but they can also lose to any team when they're not ready. Forte hits. Well, you know, the Cougs have never lost a party. They're not going to lose this one tonight. <laughs> As they stun the number eight team of the country, the Washington State Cougars, a convincing 72-61 win over Oregon, their first top ten win since 2007.